Well, a massive welcome to you all. The hundreds and literally thousands of people tuning in on a monthly basis. Welcome to a different time live stream. In Armour 3, Vietnam, SOG, Scenario, Anti Stasi. No? Mod. Get a little setup here. I'm only a tiny bit behind. GFN is absolutely awesome. Just those little things I have to do each time. Got it so down to habit now, you know. <clears throat> yeah, one thing I advise you do, unless they change something in the code, or whatever. Um, key bind or Zeus off take that off otherwise it will conflict to suddenly pop up for some strange reason whoa there easy tiger go view and that's so I can change to third person it's double enter for me and video I just give it just a tiny bit of saturation 110 just a weeny little bit Lovely. There we go. Ready to kick off. So yesterday, yesterday or before yesterday, like the Thursday, um, I had a really, I mean, it was like a three hour run, literally a three hour run, could be over three hours to take this position over here. It was absolutely awesome. We had to it took, took the outpost. Couldn't hold it until we took the factory. Ended up with them both for the moment. Um, and and we got an airbase too. So pretty solid, I'd say. Start uh, to what's going on. I've I'm, I've got a good loadout here. Devo Delta. There you guys. How are you? How are you doing this weekend? How was how was your weekend? Did a little boating yesterday. Got on a boat down the broads. Um, got to stop off, chilled out a little bit, and you know saw some of the countryside. Probably do that a bit more in the, the next few weeks too. I could probably live stream from there actually. I might <laughs> might for a laugh. <laughs> We'll see. I don't know what I'm doing lately. <clears throat> we'll salute the... Um, that's our flag on this one. Militia colour. It's like a rose red. Blood red. Kind of elephants, I think. They, they look like elephants. Tusks hanging down, or tigers' heads, or boar heads, I don't know. Something like that. That's a very successful run. Um, managed to get more than I thought. I've actually got an airstrike there, which in this gives me, what? Uh, same, so we've got HA cluster bombs and napalm. I have no idea how they're delivered, but... I'll call the napalm legit. The enemy do have the ability to use that, by the way. That is on this time. So it gets nasty. So, I'm going to go to Petros. And I'm going to get myself a little mission. I'm feeling lucky. Let's do a conquest. Let's see what we can take. What would you like me to take? I'm asking Petros for a, you know, bonus. Or Paul. But, what's a conquest mission? Whoa, I can't even see that. Where is that? Wow. That's a fuel station. PVAV and outpost is quite far, actually. Isn't it? Hmm. Well, I don't have anything for any backup, so we could drive up there undercover and just, you know, literally 
literally see if I can like napalm the hell out of it because you know I'm not really worried. I'm not too worried about holding this stuff at the moment. I'd rather do the damage to the resources and supply lines first. Which is important. Sometimes you can see 12 tanks coming towards you, but maybe it's better to actually blow up their fuel reserves rather than the actual tanks first. And they can't get very far. <clears throat> Go for the logistics, my friends. Go for the logistics. Did you see the 31 engine static fire? Supposed to be 33 engine, 200 didn't work. Still pretty awesome. I have watched the video footage. I didn't see it live, but I have watched the footage of it. It is quite crazy. Um, it so reminds me of the uh, the Russian rocket from, from way back there. Was it the N2? Was it N2? Um, N2? N5? N2? It, N7. Um, having that many engines really does introduce an incredible amount of complexity. I am worried about that, but I'm always I don't mind someone completely proving me wrong. But when you have that amount of amount of engines, you obviously have a an amount that will get you to orbit, and then so many family don't. But when one explodes, just one explodes, it can cause a horrendous amount of damage to anything near it. I mean, I know you can put like sort of jackets around them and stuff like that to protect them, but it's you're you're relying on such a high level of reliability. And NASA learned from this years ago that it was far better to build bigger, more reliable engines than many many engines. Um, and so it'd be very interesting to see if this works for Starship. I'm obviously hoping it does because it it means that we've got one hell of a huge spaceship to make it to to space. But that's just in my opinion, when I look at it, I just think there's a ton of complexity. I, I um, I think the engines are great though. The engines are very reliable though. When you when you when you cut them back, you can see what even Falcon Nine, the Merlin engines, has tremendously good reliability, and hopefully that passes through to the Raptor engines. Um, so it's it's pretty badass, isn't it? I believe it's about seven point five million pounds or three hundred thousand tons of force they could have launched. With, with two with those two engines out, how many can it lose? I mean, I suppose that depends on exactly how much weight it's carrying. But we're talking about what payloads of a hundred tons now. I mean, that, that's that's pretty mad. It's more, isn't it? It's like one. Is it one hundred and fifty tons of of payload technically? Um, but yeah, uh, obviously you want all on to ignite. But that's that's a that's a pretty good statistic out of thirty three. You know, one of them was in, one of them was instructed to stop, right? And then um, another one um, decided to stop. Okay, it's probably running out of tell, aren't you? Very wicked, though. Amazing, amazing sound it made when it started. You know, just for that brief period. I mean, that's going to rock the floor and then that goes off. But I, I, I don't know what you think. You, you tell me. Um, um, uh, what do you think about that many engines delta what what are your feelings with that because as i say I, I i look at it and i think it's it's uh it's not out of the question with the reliability they if they can have the same reliability as the merlin engine um then absolutely i suppose really you could have 50 engines and statistically you're going to be pretty good shape reasonable comp yeah Oh, that's just so much payload. That's, that's ridiculous. But it's good because it means you can actually like start to build things like small space stations and and uh, you know mine tons of ore and bring them back. You know, from the moon makes that kind of logistic stuff like feasible. Anyway, let's get in a let's get moving the vehicle. <clears throat> it's wicked though, isn't it? Right, I haven't actually got a loadout saved, but I'll go with this one. That's just fine, and uh, let's buy a vehicle. Oh, hang on, what have we got in stock? Any, it's pretty much all military spec, isn't it? I mean, transport. I'll get a, hold on. 1734. That's the reason I got this Starlight scope, wasn't it? Just in case it it 
it dropped to night time. Oh, we're doing that. Go on, then. let's let's see what happens. Let's see as the it gets low, it's kind of fitting for real life. Once I've protected, protect, perfected attack, should there be more reliable than Merlin's due to lower internal temps and less carbon building up due to methane rather than our pure fuel? Hmm. Hmm. That is an interesting bit of fun. So the idea is that they can light up multiple times too. So it's not just take off they've got to survive, but also they would have to do. Uh, orbital burn. Um, and uh, translunar injection. And then they have to slow down the other end. So they, they've got to be reliable that we've got to be multi use. But if I was designing a rocket, I guess I would go with less engines. I mean,. That's, that's just the one thing that I feel better about is having, you know, although having lots of little engines, you can be way more granular with the control as well. Does that give you technically, so I suppose depending on how many can actually go, I mean, how many engines in overkill are they using on that flight? It's 33 engines for a 150 ton payload. Because you, no, you can't add more engines. It's 33 is the max, right? It's like the design design mix. That's gonna be some interesting times of space flight as it all ramps up. What do you oh what do you guys think about the uh, unidentified flying objects that have been taken down? Uh one over America and one over Canada just yesterday. Uh taken out by an F twenty two. Um And at the moment, the status of them as UFOs, because they, they don't know about the size of a car, something like that, and uh, flying into obviously area of interest into what they would call a medium risk of civil aviation, at forty thousand feet. So it's kind of it's kind of strange that they haven't been identified as from any particular country. That's what I find like intriguing, really. With all the technology we've got, you thought you'd be able to, you know, get eyes on that and kind of recognise whether it's a, just a big drone or it's a, a, a truly being labelled as UFOs so far. But Mr. Gunner. Ability for engines to ID without destroying the, the other engines, yeah. And because the technology we have today compared to back when we can, you can probably monitor those engines at way more way more granular and faster pace so you know when something's going wrong quicker and you can shut it before it detonates so I'm sure that's also um, also in its favour oh whatever so far so good though isn't it I mean it's proven that it can go up. It's proven that it can glide. It's it's proven that it it can fire the engines required uh, for liftoff. So now we've just got to see the rocket go up. Hopefully make it into orbit. That's that's the next big step for it, isn't it? And catch it, you know, with those claws uh, on the way down to to service it and change it and stuff. And it's very cool. Yeah, you just you just wonder if um, because of the size and complexity of that first balloon that was taken down, you you just you just wonder if there was a fleet of them let loose. They ended up in different different places, and they're not taking any chances, allowing them to pick up anything. So they're just destroying them because they don't know what they are, or taking them down. I'm assuming they're not using like heavy explosive uh, rounds on them when they fire at them. They're probably using something that will you know, disperse and just stop their ability to fly and take them down for analysis later. 
Oh, we're in strange times, aren't we, really? I just uh, posted up in my, my Discord uh, last night the one of the Russian Terminators just got taken out. Um, it's nicknamed the Terminator because it looks like something almost made by Cyberline Systems. Where am I going here? I didn't check. The problem is if you go off here, you go off. You really go off. Because if you don't get the correct road, there's no, it's not like it's all interlinked like Altis. It's like, okay, you're going, you're going cross country, you like it or not. So it looks like I've got to try and get up to here and go north of that, which is a bit of a climb. How far is this target and how much time we got? 1858. Okay, so that's like, oh, oh, fine. And distance to target. 2.3 kilometers. Well, I could almost walk that. In fact, I could, I could walk, I could run it sort of thing and it wouldn't take me too much time to get there. Let's see how fast I can climb this. I mean, the idea was going in undercover, right? But screw that now. Hey, this thing goes up this hill faster than it does some of those roads. Isn't that strange? About ten times as fast. <laughs> wow. Suddenly this car finds its own. Quality engineering. The main concern is how they can stop the heat tiles falling off. Oh yeah, NASA had that problem big with the shuttle. And they were a lot smaller. It, it is um, the stresses that are put upon them. And, I mean, they're alright sitting in a kiln or, or a test bench being you know, fired at. But when you've got so many individuals like heating and cooling around different parts, like the edge and the, the you know, inner parts, different temperature, depending on you know what edge is being hit by the atmosphere, it's, it's a strain. But the problem is, it's the shaking of it all. It's how many fall off at launch. They're huge. You know, those, those things fall off, they can do a tremendous amount of damage on take, uh, you know, takeoff. Yeah, it took, took NASA a long time to, how can I say it, um, well, they definitely improved the tiles falling off, but it, it still, you know, as best as you can do, it, it's the very reason still ended up losing, they lost the team of astronauts because of it. So it, um, it wasn't easy. Right, two kilometers, I'm just going to go up and over and run this one. SLS and um, their iron capsule looks awesome, doesn't it? I, I know um, Starship is a test vehicle and it's not like sort of um, made, how can I say, it's not really made to the quality of probably the final design. But when you look at, you look at the rockets NASA build to take off first time, you know, to like sort of, they don't have to do the amount of testing or the don't want to do the amount of testing, you know. It's incredible. And you, you go, you, you see the close-ups of all the, the workmanship of those spacecraft, and it is, is done. It is incredible. Manufacturing the... So, NASA, I think NASA is still the ones to beat when it comes to actually building rockets and, uh, and launching rockets. But it's good to have some good competition, I think. Moon rockets, I'd say. Transportation rockets, hell, you know. Falcon 9 is the boss. They can, they can launch them so regularly now, it's brilliant. Like all the commercial and military lifting. Sell so, what's going on. Look at this terrain, it's amazing. I hope that's coming over in the stream, but can you see all the f the fog through the trees and the as the environments just change from this like rainy to to moist, <laughs> humid. So wow, okay, the 
the target is... I don't know if I can see through that fog. You know, you don't really, you don't really think, look at it, and it's like, well, um, <clears throat> you know, I, I could run this in no time. I didn't realize this was going to be like sort of huge caverns and... Oh, man. I don't know whether it's quicker to go on the road or not, but hey, so this this whole exploration, I had some, add some hunting in there and a few zombies or something like this, man. We've got one hell of a survival mod right here. Don't fall off. Looks better than just hills. Yeah, I'm not actually quite sure exactly what point we get before we slide all the way down there. And don't stop. I should have just gone to the car. Jumped it. Probably ramp up there somewhere. Oh, easy. Yeah. That is the, the problem. You start sliding and you get a... It used to be broken legs in Daisy, but now that here it's like terminal, so I have to watch out the angle I've fallen in. Go too much, you do slide. Mm, actually, I'm 1.5 away. It's not as far as we think. We get to there, it's just, it's an easier climb than we're coming down here. Intense, man. Right, so this is a conquest, and I plan to use the napalm on this. This can be very destructive if done right, depending on their defenses. But I reckon at 1.5, I think somewhere up there is going to give me a really good view of whatever this is. I'll look at the terrain quickly. Yeah, so we go down the so drop up here. And it's on. It's in between, actually. There's some. There's probably a really nice overlook at 310, so I'll put a little marker there. And aim to go up there or there to see if I can get a look. Reminds me a bit of Galaxy Quest. Oh. Has anyone seen the new Picard trailer? I watched that today. Suddenly Star Trek has decided to go to war. So you're going to get all the all your known characters back from next generation. And you're flooding in. Taking part. Going to war. We're interested. the first uh, half the first season of that I got a lot of catch up I bet that just keeps getting better with the quantum drive what's up Christopher it's just, just popping in to have a great stream set so sadly I can't watch heading off to snooker tonight snooker for awesome. have a great stream and chat love you all I'll hit the like button thank you very important hit the like button. 15 in with six likes. It's not matching up. I gotta work harder, but I got a lot of jungle to run through. This this bit can't be helped before the action happens. We're now a kilometer away. So now I have to be prepared for anything like a potential roadblocks down here as well. Careful on crossing here. A 
I used to enjoy playing snooker. Can play snooker. So I'm pretty versed on the, the rules and would be tremendously out of practice, but can't play snooker. I think I'm pretty competitive. something I forgot to try in VR. Why didn't you try snooker VR? Pool in VR. Yes, must do that. I got a pistol. Oh well, Rob, good. So I'm actually pretty well loaded here. Smokes, Molotovs. Three Molotovs and three smokes. Season three. Wow, how many? So it's on its third season now. Well, there's more. close to an objective is that we could quite easily run smack into a patrol I was kind of hoping to get a look on the while I'm attacking first well when I know it's down in between these two larger hills so Let's go up the top here and see if I can look right down onto it. Give it some knee palm. Not entirely sure what planes they're going to deliver it in. Hopefully, something nippy, you know. We've got some jets. listening for footsteps. Myself into here. I have no idea. Is it the other side? It's not the other. So I've marked here. I think I should go where my marker is if I can make it. That's got to be all the way up over the top of that, right? 
right, let's figure out how I'm going to get up there. Communications array up there too. That's a radio. Okay, there's a radio tower could potentially blow up as well. Part of it, I guess. Or at least that would be the outpost that defends it. <sighs> well, there's no backup here. Wondering if I can follow this rock all the way across. in view. Oh, 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 okay. Developers, come on, man. That ain't funny. <laughs> oh, no. What a time to get discovered when you're floating through a rock. Alright, looks like I've been discovered somehow. down one right there and if I can see him through that stuff I gotta be patient here because there's a lot more of them than me I think I can just about see there, he's going to move. The one low I got, but there might be two approaching this guy. One more up high. Where are you? Then I need to move. Climbing those rocks is going to be extremely risky. Especially if they do not really exist. Damn it. I think I got in there. It's two more. Right there. There. Oof. Gotcha. There's more. You know, I might end up sort of feeding all these down from there. I'm going to call in the napalm now. I'm going to do it like a big spread all the way down to there. See what happens. Select a map position in which the plane will execute, calculate plane's route vector. Okay. Definitely make it through there. Because I think, because I've disturbed the the nest, they're working their way down here. Bomb 
behind there somewhere. Sounds like we've got a jet. Awesome. Get some. Whoa, there we go. Take them. Another one. Hi. Right up there. Damn it. Oh, oh there's so many leaves there. I had to step out. <clears throat> Man, that is raging. I think, I think we did a lot of damage there. But I don't think it's enough to actually take that outpost away. Please help. Hmm. Let's have a look. I think what I'll do is I'll try and um Is there any aircraft at the airfield? I think I blew most of it up, right? I don't think there's actually any stocks of aircraft. Not bad, I got close, but that was really tricky to rain. Wow. Oh, right, I need to go to the air base. Let's get a base loadout done. We've got a ton of just the rifles and such. Okay, that'll do for the start then. Do a really quick build, not that fast. And I'm going to transport to the airfield. Need that telephone. Ammunition. Med kit. Kit. Base for toolkit. Some Renadas. Some space for smokes. Fast travel to airfield. Let's see if I happen to have any transport. <clears throat> hey Nicholas, he says the amount of grass in this just terrifies me. There's a man in the bushes. Yeah, it is difficult. Makes fighting very difficult. Is this three points here? Yes. 3.1, I think. Of the mod, yeah. yeah. Hey, Doc. Super Bowl Sunday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Doc. Yeah, Super Bowl Sunday, is it? Are they doing that four times a year now? That can't be already. Is it, is it actually Super Bowl Sunday? You sure. Who's playing? I don't even know who's playing. I know aircraft, man. Oh, I could buy Huey for huh, insane amounts at the moment, especially at this stage of the conflict. That's not happening. Where 
can we fight for here? What can I fight for? In this location? Not a tremendous amount. Right, I know the objective I was going for, right? It's a seaport. We're going to get the seaport, then we can get boats, and we can go and invade other areas of the map. Yeah, I, I like that idea. Let's go this way. Let's get a... Let's get some kind of off-road. There we go. High mobility vehicle. It's like... Go anywhere type, you know. Ah, oh, like a rainbow. Yes, happy birthday, man. You know, it certainly is great to be 31 and up. Badass. Going. I can't even see through this stuff. They yeah, can't chat. Give Doc a happy birthday. Spread the love. I did see his birthday presents. Got some fine quality vinyls. No doubt a bottle of whiskey or something. Excellent. So this, unfortunately, is right next to a town. If I... I've... I've got airstrike. If I was to napalm this place, we might not benefit too much from it. Chat's lagging. Fuck, I need a snack. What happened? I sat down and I didn't prepare. Feel snacky. I'm trying to set up a direct action server now. At least that's the plus 2.0. The mod 3.0 hasn't been hasn't been bad so far. Um, yeah, it's very good actually. It is it is very been fine so far, and, and an interesting transition from. Oh yeah, it's not been spotted apparently. Modern combat. We can jump even further back once it supports World War Two, if it ever does. Actually, 3.0 doesn't the mod doesn't have to support it. I could build a server on the older code, 2.5, and add some WW2 mods. And oh yeah, I'm getting there. Bad feeling about this. I got I got a feeling that this place is well defended. Very well defended. I've asked to go commander, recruit a squad, get us a full normal squaddy, and then get them. Probably take a couple of hours. But get them. Invade this seaport. Uh. 
vehicle is not in the building. Oh, they're off. Squad 3 is a go. And they are going cross-country instead of on the roads. Great! See you in three or four hours. Might have to, you know... Let me just check this. Might have to update their pathfinding, you know. Unless it generally thinks this is the quicker solution. I mean, I don't know what they're traveling in, but they are going through a very complex jungle. And the AI have enough on their plate. It's not following the road they're out of the base. Which is... It's going to make organizing a larger battle way too complicated. If they're not going to stick to the roads more. Well, I've always done these guys. Let's see what we got here. Little, little river as such. The patrols yet. Oh, there we go. You see a soldier there. I think it's like try and shoot this guy and then move. They use it as a distraction. Blank left. Straight headshot. All I do is get a peek over at what's going on and bring in an airstrike to neutralize my quantity of enemy assets. Oh, I do remember this place. Going to be easy. Let's see if I can make it over to there. Get my binox on. Um, go. stop here and just check for patrols. I 
should just have a little check. Where is that? Well, funny enough, they've got further quicker than I thought they would. They're just about to go over the airfield, and actually they won't be too far if they join the road here. That's not too bad. Maybe, I don't know what they... Well, they gotta be on some vehicle. Cranes. Can't see anyone on the roof there. Do I risk getting closer? Better try. out in there that give me a better view oh okay now I see patrols anti-aircraft uh, battery there so that's going to make bombing this place difficult unless I can take that guy first and that might not be the only one this place is pretty well defended it's got that system in place I do actually have a shot from here at that, which would be from spots. It's doable. 279, so let's say 300 meters. I've got a shot right there. If I could call in. So what method shall we use here? If the napalm makes it down, it could do a tremendous amount of damage. It might not necessarily take out all the buildings. Because if you do that, then I'm going to lose the seaport. Let's try the napalm. I'm going to try and shoot that anti-aircraft guy out as that thing approaches. Oh shit. 
we got to, yeah, that's close. Let's do in there, palm strike. Straight across here. Enemy are close. I assume I start shooting at that end here. They're going to start firing. Can I get a shot through there? I can. I can just about see him. Not like that, though. Just hold breath. Going for a shot. I got him. First shot. Take cover. Yes. Severely changed things. But there's only one of me. I don't really want that patrol to know where I am. It's like hit with the ball rod from here. That'd be nuts. Too far. Well, I'm going to keep low. Hello. See the guard tower right there. Let's try and take him out from this side. Maybe it'll mask some of the sound. Right there. That's just obscuring the shot. Distance wise, two hundred meters. Set it to two hundred. Got a hit. Was not a kill shot. Almost gone down. He's gone down. I don't know if that's just a heal up. That the backup finally got here. Oh yeah, it is. Squad squad's almost here. Awesome. Alright, if you can get to that road kick off a fight looks like they might have found someone already that's good to have a distraction PAVN just sent a land QRF estimated uh, 7 minutes 
so they realise there's a problem now. Obviously. Damn, that was close. His feet. This thing. Engaging. 70% left. So there must have been a roadblock there. I took a guy out here. But it looks like he was part of another another patrol or roadblock operating on that road. Down on the roof up there means they got affected by the napalm. I've just got eyes on this guy. Got him. Alright, they know where I am now. That one did it. Oh, good. They've taken out the, uh, the roadblock. Still at 70%. Maybe they'll make it here. Someone fired around over my head. Which is probably one of these two here. I hit him. Limping. Have a shot. So I get behind this building. <clears throat> well, this turned into a bit of splinter cell. I'm just going to go up top here, see if I can find anything to shoot at from here. Got that nest there. the one I took out. Now we see. Now we can see. Major fight down there. 
How many left? 57%. Good distraction, actually. See you. Seven minutes. We've probably burnt through at least five, so there'll be support. Now, they said they were coming in on foot, so this uh, APC, or these might be the reinforcements right here. Moving in now. I think. Are they going to advance? I could do with getting to some of these bodies because they might have an, uh, a law on. In case they decide to bring some armor in. Oh, wow. That's okay. Yeah. I think we see the backup now. Let's see if I can give a friendly frag. Well, that first one couldn't have been better. It's right in the middle of them. Got no Molotovs. Oh hell, I just wiped them out. I can get to that tree. Go around this side. Ooh, roof. One of the roof by the uh, end here, I think. Get down. Another one. Missed. Didn't miss. I thought they were in a party over there. 23% left. What is going on? Yep, just seen him in another tower. And this guy here. Two of them actually. One to the left. If I can get that guard. There. P 
heavy and it's just sent an airborne QRF. I need to get to their bodies to get something to defend myself. Let's get this one on the leg. Too. All right, they may be in any of these buildings, of course. Be in the description key. Please help. They're medium. I got an airborne attack coming in. I suppose we'll play medic. <laughs> You know what the best thing I could do? Is after I raise this guy, I'm going to go see if I can get to that building. I'll get on the roof and use the anti air against anything they send in. Intercepted. Take your SKF's rifle. Let's see if I can get in there. Get to that roof. Spotted enemy. No feet, so no others there. Here's something come in. They got the piece. We need to get on this roof. Incoming from north. Oh, 
tunnel down here. Let's see if this works. Wow, 4,800 rounds. There it is. It's the first one. Get the hell out of it. There. I'm going to let you down. Yes. Let's get off that a second. <laughs> that was sweet. Get some more clips and ammo and such. I can use grenades on this rifle. And that is. These ones have got anti-tank, smoke, and Willy P. Quite a selection there. Put down the toolkit. Let's take that for the moment. Need more to defend myself. Check for launches. That's really what I need. It's something like a some RPG. We got grenades on this dude's board on his back there. Right? How they get that on the roof? Airlifting, you know. They got that. They got that much tech. Let's drop him in the helicopter. Mm, Two hundred and seventy-four. Also, plus what I take. So I could actually, if I can take the flag here. Let's have a look. Whoa. Sniper out there. Where? I don't know where that was from. Send again. Hmm. Task complete ammo convoy. Oh, that ammo convoy has uh, decided to go through the factory. I think it's probably been taken out by the guns. Good job. That's the beach. Over here somewhere. Where are you, camper? I think so. Right there. Gotcha.
Easy. Easy. This old RPG blocked that boat. But you know what? I'm thinking precision strike on this thing, you know? Like looking right at me. Actually, it would be quite a price to take, wouldn't it? Put a load of uh, AI on that and s go for Voyage, but it's a great risk. Not really getting any bots on them for some reason. Shouldn't it come out like a... Oh, yeah, yeah there we go. Uh, call in air support. See if we can get some high precision bombs. See what happens. <clears throat> Would look good in the inventory. Yeah, I think it's a tried this before, you know. And you get this, you get this fantastic boat, or you end up getting plummeted or something. Although it'd be more fun to wreck the enemy's boat. <sighs> Just need an RPG, which I don't have. Or would that gun rotate round? Let's watch this thing and see how the jets do. Go get them. Not bad, it's still up though. Cannon's turning. Right towards me. Don't like that. <laughs> I don't even get pasted. That is so following me. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I didn't get him! I did. I did get him. Just one, though. Need an RPG or something. Yeah, I suppose anti-tank. I mean, what would do the... What would do the least damage, though? I mean, I've got... I've got frags, which probably would do, do more damage to the troops and blow up the thing. I mean, I could try, I could try one of these. Try the actual f frag grenade. But if I if I look, that thing's gonna pace me, right? Looks like the gun is literally. Literally feels like it's locked on to me. Need to get a different view. Let's get out of here. Hopefully it won't get a lock. Oh shit! There's one of ours! Must have made it here. Sorry, that's not the usual way I greet friendlies. I don't think I've killed him though. I think I might be able to. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he must be. He must remember. Yeah, it is. Let's remember that squad that actually made it. About 17%. Of them all their way here, you're gonna be okay. 
I deliberately shot you in the um, toe. I mean, if I can get a good enough position to swivel around that boat, I could actually take surgically take them out. Yeah, okay, going to be fine now. No worries. Like brand new. Oops, stuck. Stuck on the door. Hey. Right, there's, there's the boat. Oh, this guy drawing fire at me either. He's going to start shooting. I'm going to take a wider flank than this. She survived. Let's see if we can get a different shooting position. Confuse the turret. No! What shot me? Not that dude with the anti-tank. They'll be flipping kidding me. All right, nice. We'll get back there. Go back there with force. <clears throat> I think we'll take troops and send in a couple of squads as well to uh, get that one back. Okay, let's get the loadout. Did I save that loadout? Oh, man. Don't kill me. Okay, I'll, I'll pick up. Well, let's fast travel to the uh, uh, airbase. Skip half the trip. I think that was an anti tank round. I think, I think the AI was. Uh, <laughs> I don't take any chances. Where's the flag? Not appeared yet. There we go. Soldier, one and a half chips, southwest. Contact, attack, both, two clicks, bearing two, one, zero. Yeah, rest you with me, so let's get... Let's I'm going to do four of them and tell them to basically get to this road here. Which is a total of five, so two, three, four, and five. Get over here. Rest of you with me. I'll go pick up some guns on site. Or risk it. Danger. Hopefully they'll move fast as well. Looks like they are. So who's playing the Super Bowl? What, what teams? I think that's going to be like crazy time for me. It's going to be like 3 o'clock. This road here. I wonder if there's um, some weapons to pick up. 
Now, squad one is still alive, so he still should be. Holding that port open so it won't get immediately reinforced. The window's still open to take. Oh, the Eagles and the Chiefs. Hmm. Who have you got your um who you, you behind? Wait, the the Chiefs, they Washington? I I go look them up. So I, don't, I don't think so because squad one is still up, which means they're at that location. He may be down, but he was um, holding that up. There's something in the. Oh, it's fireflies. There's something bright down there. I was thinking that's a kit. Here they are. We gotta get a load out here. Out of ammo. Let's go. What's that like? Get in the water. The actual who's that? One of us. Huh. Where's he going? Was it no map but just a civilian? It's a civilian. We talk about. Support the flag distance there. We got a sea boat on land, apparently. Or maybe that's a weird thing going on. Check the guard towers and you'll soon know if there's like something if you've gone on with changing over the changing of the guard. But I, I don't think so because we had some peeps on location. Let's check where the reinforcements currently are. Not far away. In fact, one of them's on the road already. With three more, hopefully, on their way eventually when they manage to, like, work their, you know, stuff out. But that'll do. Check his builds to make sure I don't think they left in them worth worth ever look. It's getting very dark now. I'm gonna have to watch the replay of that, unfortunately. Muck up the body clock, but enjoy. 
hope your favourite team wins. That lit smoke. That was. Yes, it is. Good. Alright, watch out for this boat now. Rifleman! Six hundred meters! Southwest! Really? Six hundred meters. Oh, that's not one of ours. You went completely past us, too. He's solo part of a squad. Let's catch up and quick, see what he's doing. Eliminate him. Good spot. That's the cannon dude gone. Reload. Right, where's our support? He's right there, two of them. So I want those guys to now enter the seaport. Let everyone in. Move in. Take the flag, huh? Get my stuff back. There's the flag, but it's covered by that boat. I say, are you sure it's everyone? There's still a guy there, look. Still a commander guy there. He's trying to drive it away. Get the hell out of it. Right, tell me that's all of them. If not, this is going to get messy. Got the one. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me that flag. I want that ship. I'll put that ship away. That's that's going to be monster. Yeah, hang on, no. I think we'll go sail it up the coast and attack Saigon. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, good. Now, got on this thing. I'm going to attempt to put it away for safekeeping. There's a Shantu gunboat. Yep, there you go, mine. Yoink. Hey, this done it. Yeah, happy Super Bowl Sunday. Do you support the Chiefs? Nemesis, you are right? You doing cynical? What are they called the Braves? I can't remember what they... They changed the name. Hmm. 
Right. Well, loot box. Let's get onto that boat and hammer it. Because what I can do is I can select all the crew that we've managed to muster up there and stick them in this seaport and garrison here, so. our truck I think but watch out Lieutenant Nicola Manetta yeah I guess I'm thinking of different a different team yeah I, I don't watch a lot of American football at all I love do love watching the Super Bowl Especially for the halftime show as well, you know. That is pretty radical there. Why can't I select you guys, huh? I can there. Let's try that again. We got a port! Excellent, they've bought lights. Good. So I think if we're going to attack Saigon, it's going to... Where's that? Don't tell me they're trying for the airfield already. Hold up. Incoming. Get that anti air. Sounds like they're not going small mesh area either. I can hear maybe three three choppers, something like that. Let's gather weapons and ammo. Morning. Good evening. Can I even see him at night? Yep, I got one of them. They're gonna light you up. Man. Fire! Press landing pad for you. Where's the next one? Ooh, I think the pilot made it down. Engine failure, but it sounded like the pilot made it down. No boom. So it looks like we'll have an attack approaching maybe from northeast. I want to go get my stuff. So possibly two choppers. Well, it sounded like more than one. So I think they one's got down, but why is it taken off though? Hmm. Give it more of a hammering. Let's go get my stuff from that body. On the um, on the SKS. Tell that basket from anywhere, isn't that? that wasn't I on the corner here? Some corner. Anti tanks. There. Yeah. That's me. Got a wicked shirt, that's why. Where's the gun? Reach yourself. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm, it's pretty late. I'm not going to stay up to that time watch, unfortunately. Cover me! Reloading! Being so good. <clears throat> Alright. We got uh, 15 rifle frags. Seriously? Changing max. 
kind of cool. So, it's saying there's contacts, which I'm hoping will drop away soon. The seaport is actually pretty well reinforced. Making it way down that parachute. Should just probably pop one over there, that way. Because could be enemy out there. It sounds like they're clashing already. Sixes to an injury there. I must be over here. Let's go. Go help them out there. I think they've clashed with what was left from the chopper. There's five. Five then. Oh, okay. Number three is on that. care business. Getting cold, I need to put the heat on. Randolph. That's the pilot. That's where the chopper came down somewhere around here. TV. This stains. RTB. Turn night today. Go back to the seaport. Get in big battleship. Load it up with troops. And then obviously you know go attack a Saigon and you know dominate. We could get stuck into that city, that would be great. Get out of here. Help. <laughs> Guys, fires of it. A giant bumblebee. Still waiting on information for this UFO, you know. Order. I don't know what that is. Is 
11 p.m. ish time to 4 a.m. ish. Yeah. It's all those commercial stops. <laughs> it's like. Time out! It's alright though. Kind of flows for Super Bowl, that it all fits. All occasion is just spectacular. Right, so we're going back to HQ. There goes Seaport. Wow. Good little distraction tactic within a separate squad. A little bit of napalm and then finished up. Pretty damn slick, actually. Everyone can stand down for the moment. Two, three, four, five, six. We decided to rest for some time. My name is Kai, last of the Brunan G. Yo, hey, yo, Ovare. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I started watching Lex again. <laughs> oh, that is just unique. That's ridiculous. And I, I still have never seen the last season of Lex. <clears throat> I think we get a bit more. As you command, Stan. Oh, that's better. Whoa! Okay, the eyes need to adjust. My virtual eyes, look. <laughs> there you go. Much better. Guys, I just got to turn the heating on a sec, mate. I'm starting to freeze. Temperatures just drop, so I'm not going to stick that on and uh, grab a little snack. And then we're going to go take that gunship over to Saigon. I think we should start a poll off or something like whether I'm going to make it halfway. Now, it depends how well the uh, the waters are patrolled and how good the AI I've got are at actually, are at actually utilizing the abilities of the ship. That's the point. Have I got enough to like sort of upgrade them a little bit? Hey, where are you, Petros? I left this server running. <laughs> Still in the same place. Totally forgot. Petros. Doing. How about. The train the troops. How about we don't? <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> I might give him an upgrade before going. I hope it's a good game to watch, otherwise it's just an excuse to, uh, to eat a few food. Yeah, why not? I'm sure it's a really good family occasion, actually. Which doesn't like the right time. It's making me want to stay up and watch it now, you know? <laughs> I feel like it, you know, I feel like... Could be a good one, this one. <laughs> Brady in it. I, I, no, what? I shouldn't say that. It's just retired the guy, huh? Oh, what about LeBron James and that scoring record he just smashed? It's, it's crazy. <laughs> it's got such ability, that guy. Wicked.
Got a ridiculous amount of sugar here. It's medicinal. Yo, well. Ooh. Actually. I'll let that drop too cold. Oh, yeah. Perfect. You still go to get Mickey D? And I thought we were in the future here. Usually, it, Mickey D comes to you now. Actually, since moving to Norwich and gradually trying my way through different various takeaways. I will say that I'm probably in the best place I've ever been in this country in terms of like having quality food around. Only thing is, the McDonald's don't haven't accepted this address yet. Quality food? <laughs> no, I'm serious. There's like, it's like so much competition now. Oh yeah. Well, I don't know if any of you know, but if you've got Amazon Prime and you've got Deliveroo. You can connect those two accounts together and you get free delivery. So most of the time when you, or it's like, you know, there's nothing to get to your door. You get their plus package if you combine, you connect the account. No, I didn't. I didn't until a couple of weeks ago. And then I realized I could get shopping delivered cheaper than direct from the supermarkets. I'm having to hypermile a bit. I think everyone's doing that to some extent. But I never thought that soup would be cheaper from Marks and Spencer's than it would be from actual supermarkets. Crazy, isn't it? 170 a tin from. For Heinz, so you can get Mark Suspenser's tomato soup for 65 pence a tin. Delivered free in 15 minutes. Nuts, isn't it? Especially if you want the essentials. But that's where we're at now. Lots of micro delivery services that are competing now against each other. Every main chain has a, has a backing behind a, some kind of micro delivery. And they're expanding what they're offering now because people are just ordering that. Like It's like convenient that just to order it like that rather than go for a slot and then wait next day. Now you can get out 15 minutes. That's just, that's the quickest they've ever been when I've ordered it before. It depends on proximity, but. Hmm. Anyway. Let's go get the big ship and take it out for a big cruise. Yes, they are, but they also do through Deliveroo as well. Now, Mark, uh, Amazon, you have to order, right? Oh, no, I actually tell you something. I know I did two weeks ago. I did a Morris through Amazon, and it was the same day. It was within a two-hour slot, actually. So they do that as well. Probably using the same network, isn't it? Like some kind of integration there. Well, it's especially good if it brings value. I mean, takeaways, takeaways, like a treat, right? But 
general shopping, it surprises me how good the deals you can actually find. Because let's say, it was like the other day, I was like, okay, I just need to stock up on a few tins of soup. Um, and there's a load of basic things I needed to get, you know, salt, sauces and everything like that. And usually you go to the main brand and you'd be like on their website, order a delivery slot, depending on how convenient it is to you or when you need it, get it a day or two. And that's it, that's fine. That's pretty damn convenient if you want to buy it. Rip. Now, I found it from like some of the major brands who so like just undercutting it and then you don't have the delivery fee at all with the integration. That was... There is a bit of a markup from the smaller stores on certain items though. They have a whole section on there now, which is like, okay, I'm matching store price. Fair enough, you don't have to worry about that. It is the same. I did check when I went through them all just to see where the money was being made. And it's just the money, the money isn't because they're trying to undercut each other. So you'll get them all match, trying to price match now in this micro environment or this super convenient environment. And uh, somewhere like MNS had cheaper sauces and cheaper soup and everything. And I ended up ordering a whole batch of them and it was like, wow, quite a, quite a saving from which is considered a you know more expensive food brand chain, but not this way. And 20 minutes later, 20, 20, 20 minutes later. Right, I'm going to get a trap for this lot. This doesn't take too long. Oh no, I need them in the boat now. So we'll get them. Um, Let's get a yeah, truck, not a repair truck. A transport truck. Jump in. Get in that vehicle. This sort of KFC is 24 hour drive through as well. That's next door Mickey Oh, you're torn. You're torn. You're torn between the two. something a second. Mm. She can go for a junk food platter then. Can have a mix. Worth by. Where is he? Five, fall back. Where the hell was he going? Also, these things deliver now pretty much 24-7. So if you wanted that, like, uh, let's say one of that MMS spaghetti carbonara. With some nice garlic bread. Like, you know, a meal deal or something. Or even do like a movie deal where, where they package a load of things together. And you need that at 3 o'clock in the morning. It's a done thing now. Never tried them yet. 
I look forward to the the, the brand that are in the UK, but I've never tried Taco Bell yet. Not that good. to get that face cam hooked up because I feel like I've been talking to myself for the last 10 years just realised took long enough What the hell have you been playing today, Studnik? What's your poison? What the hell is five doing? Is it she moving away? Must have watched the first stream. Oh cool, what are you doing? Some pre ball practice. Quarterback throws. Malden, excellent. Yeah, I enjoyed that. It was victorious in Malden. Oh. Actually starring in this or just going to see? where it all starts Hollywood next I want to thank developers for drawing especially good rocks in that scene. It's quite amazing, isn't it? It's quite convincing when you look at it. All the rust detail on the vehicles too. Huh? Looks like a Tesla paint job. Actually, no, there's less panel gaps on this car.
Right. Don't give you patience. I kind of like just filling up there on squares, which is really healthy. We need extra carbs to think. Now, where is this rifle in? It seems to be completely ignoring what I'm saying. The best thing you could do, number five, is actually get to the road down here. Stop playing about. I'll direct you right there. Good. Let's see what is nice. Let's see what is nice. No joke. That Kia EV6. We want a Kia EV Sportage when it comes out. On the... Those cars are so bulletproof. So well made. Five just said negative. Wait a second. What is he, let's see what he's actually doing. Because this is when you find out what, where he's hiding. Just get out of the room. What the hell are you doing? Oh, I see. Is he actually kind of in... Oh, that's why he's in one of these, like... He's in one of these rocks. Now I can understand. So it wasn't, it wasn't his programming. It was the, it was the developers doing these strange rocks all over this place. I already found one earlier today. It all got me discovered. I don't know if I can get him out of it. Maybe I can if I can get him to climb the, climb the rock. He's probably tried everything himself. I mean, he's an AI, right? He can, he can basically figure out every statistical... The permutation of escaping this rock like in an instant and I could like just try an air you know so oh dear number five we'll have to fire him he can make his way home eventually why I should still leave enough of the ship I'll call this episode the invasion of Saigon I wonder if his defenses are tuned to fight back a battleship such as this one Love armor, but I need a competitive game. I need something else. Competitive. With a rank system that I can feel achieving. Something like climbing the ladder, like League of Legends. I cleaned everything up today. Mop the floor looks beautiful sat down two games of League of Legends and got myself up to bronze four yes come on felt so good because the games were tough they were really tough games right down to the wire games where it looked like even you're losing it okay man. those are the best ones and it's that situation it's the same situation again in PUBG PUBG's not on GFN yet. Or hasn't come back to GFN yet. Still don't know why. Still get nothing. I get blanked. What is that? Anyway, so I'll look for something else. There is Overwatch too, right? I want to feel that exhilaration of... What's up ahead? That's a civilian. Get off the road, you. Yeah, that's it. Get right off the road. Alright, everyone. Welcome to my uh, new seaport.
just recently took ownership of it and restoration has started already. Got some nice plans for this. We can do a bit of extra trade. Get all that nice important goods in. And I was thinking about making it, you know, maybe get a bit of extra business. Make it tax haven at the same time, huh? Disembark. All right, everyone out. Let's see if we got this in the garage. I'm sure we got it in the garage. Yes, the Shantou gunboat. Try to drive off. Contact. Oh, you're putting this. That's not even funny. You blow up, and I swear to God, I'm going to uninstall this mod. Do not crush Anon something contact. so beautiful. 75 meters. Front. Oh, I tell you something. All this talk of tanks I've been like jamming about in Discord. Um, I've, I'm, I'm just wondering if I'm gonna play a bit of World of Tanks. That is competitive. That does have a rank system. You can get better, and you can. I, I really am not feeling this, but that should be okay, right? Oh, that's good. Whew. All right, every, everybody in. See if we can get the AI to actually mount this. How many do I need? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Find the driver. And you guys. Get in that vehicle. Let's see how they handle this though. Because they're like, I don't know how to jump off the jetty. I wasn't programmed to do that. You have to realise. Where are they going to? Alright, maybe they're actually going to go to the edge there and swim, but let's see if we can turn this thing around. Oh, it has a really good turning circle. Like Titanic. Oh, and those brakes as well, you know? There's like lag display. Oh, cool. The old group type on there. Right, what are they doing? They're going for a swim that side. That's that's the best you can do it. I suppose it isn't it, by the way. Okay, so that means I've got to take this out and go around. Oh, look at that. I feel like I'm playing World of Warships now. too fast because you end up denting it. Oh, sounds like I'm on a tin of beans. No worries. That should be enough space to. Uh, this thing's got depth charges too. It does. Got depth charges as well. Awesome. Right, it looks like they've decided to go in for a swim around the edge, so I'm going to... Well, there we go. Two of them have got off to a good start. I'll pick you up. Don't climb the ladder again, it's this way. Get that vehicle. That's it, come swim. Trying to stop. Ugh. Remember, this is steam powered, so it's not electrically driven. A little bit turbo lag. Right, so that's three of you, I see. It does have some serious firepower. It's got um, 
it's got all the technical be anti tank, anti armor, um, air defense guns. Those cannons at the front are beefy. You got a DS HKM ZPU Type 50, 56, another one on the left, a V11M on the front. And yeah, he's straight away, you look, he's on the big guns. Right, I'll stay here because I think these guys can somehow make it here. Apart from those two, we keep going around the other side. So I'll wait till these three are on. And then make a little... Are they going to come through here? There we go, some machine gun. Let's get all the way over there. What are you doing, mate? Alright, so I've got four on board at the moment. How many do I technically need now? Yeah, I need at least two more. Could do with another, actually. <laughs> it's crawling under. Great. Well, I hope so. It, it it really does depend on what the enemy have got out to sea and what their capabilities are at countering this. I assume if I'm moving at rapid speed I'll be okay, but I think I might have, might park this up and get one extra extra person because this guy's going to get in and probably take. I mean, no, I need I need three, right? Side gunner, uh, and then we go, oh no, there goes some at the front. On the side, so we need one more. Yes, number two. You will need it. Two, commander, get into that vehicle. Actually, there is an easier way to do this. I could take control of two and just move over. As long as I don't start like sailing the ship in a weird direction. Say yeah, ahead. look at that. Look, over. typical on it. I'm off. Oh, you. You idiot. You scratched it. Right, two get in. That's it. I got him in the right place. Oh, medic, you can do this. You know where to go. That's it. It's like hugging that side terrain. What are you doing? No, don't go under there. Come on. I'm burning fuel up here, man. Two, Commander, get into that vehicle. Two, get in that vehicle. Now he's going the right way. That's it. Right, that should put him in the gunner. The gunner basically, the commander basically has a searchlight on this, so as long as we've got everyone in the cannons. Right. So this, this could be pretty epic. I really wanted to go down to the coast and attack uh, Saigon, you know, all the way down here. But it's like, I have no idea what's out there in patrolling the seas. I mean, this could be, it could be full of mines for all I know. There we go. My gun, we're full. Alright, let's, let's get to the seas. Look at that epic send off there. Actually, it's pretty, pretty nimble when it's going, so it's a typical boat. <laughs> Alright, 
Actually, at this speed of 41 kilometers an hour on the sea, it's not going to take that long at all to to go down the Saigon. See you later, Zeno. Enjoy the Super Bowl. Kerbo. How are you, sir? Let's get them all onto combat mode. Just fire at anything, I don't care. I'm not even take a chance. And collision lights on. Anything else? No. We just await and see what happens. And look at the beautiful coastline of this map. Chat, if you could name one game you'd enjoy the most to watch played on this channel, what would it be? Apart from Armour 3, of course. I'm very, very tempted. I could play some Daisy. I could. But I am itching for something competitive as well. Daisy modded. That still remains very, very anticipated in some way for me to get into trouble on that again. But the thing is, that's very much about the journey. You know, there's long periods of time where, you know, unless a troll in the coast or something, it could be absolutely nothing going on. You know, I could have a character that's like a week old, hasn't seen anyone. You know, got all that sweet loot. And then some new punches you out, you know. You just don't know. That's the that's but that game has had many, 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 many patches since I played it last. So I was thinking also World of Tanks potentially. Uh, squad now squad that as I haven't played that in such a long time and it's had massive updates to it. it's very very realistic looking and the damage modeling on the tanks and everything is pretty awesome too World of Tanks would be nice to start from scratch and progress. It's a highly competitive game that has a huge following. Side the islands or between the islands? So we go between the islands. There's, there's a resource base right here. You're close to, or as I say, keep going all the way to Saigon. Is that called Trilon? Trilon. Trellon Tusk. This is. Hang on a second. Is there like. Is there like auto thing on this? I can't remember. Did they add that to Anti Stassi? Wait. Oh, there is a way of me doing this. What am I talking about? I could switch to Commander. I think. And then if I get someone like. 
Well, that's good. That's enough. Stop marking things up. Just keep going. <clears throat> You've got time to open your pack. But we're not in any rush. Can't compete with the guy spending big bucks. Oh, you're... You're feeling... You're, you're basically saying that it's paid to win. Is that the problem with it? Good strategy, good to know your capabilities, especially when you're starting with all the tanks. You're never going to blast out level 2 or 3s easy, but you certainly can do good for things like reconnaissance, information, <coughs> information about other tanks, <coughs> <coughs> and send that information through for your you know, communications, and so you can almost become a listening post too. Use the terrain well. Well, I can't specifically select. Any of these gunners or anything. It's just pretty much. The AI have got it. Although, won't it? What does I press C? I've got... Oh. <laughs> Reload the horn. <laughs> that effectively says like a dual horn or something. I, th I thought I had the... I could fire the... Like depth charges or something. lucky. I thought we were safe, but that was real shallow. Daisy squad world of tanks.
I'm not sure how the AI are even going to deal with this. Because technically every seaport's going to probably have something like this. And that's going to be a very difficult outcome depending on who fires the first shot and takes out your main guns. But if this kicks off as far as like troops, well, they don't have anything to home in. So, yeah, it could be good. No, I have not. There's also a lot of uh, mic mods to play, right? I got a lot of scenarios for this. You can jump on the server and get into some epic battles, building reinforcements and stuff, dig trenches. far away now. Probably the worst of it. It's going to be down this edge. As far as I can see, there's actually no seaports. Th this here on the... could be something to fire at. Might as well take a look. It's a little resource base. I got two airstrikes too. I could. Oh, actually, why don't we stop off here? Because if if they send in air support, we've got the perfect counter. A little drive by. Send in some high precision. Get near that coast and then just literally go straight to the right and be in the side of this thing. Let the guns blaze, man. We come up. Only two people on that gun. Oh, oh. maybe. Just a loader. There it goes. Targets out there. Yeah. No excuse. Get him. I have to be in the. the one is searchlights like the wrong way. <laughs> Still. <clears throat> Surely they must see. Oh no, because that's a civilian. That's not the troopers even. Oh wow. We might have caught it completely by surprise. In that case, I want to call in an airstrike by precision bombing run. Over there, please.
Oh, that'll do it. Right, there's someone with a gun. Target that soldier, please. Yes! Oh, cannons. Area firepower. Is that the last of them or should I call in a strike? I swim over there and try and take it. Almost noob tubing from up there. Holy crap, that just went over the sh over shoulder. Yeah, someone's up there firing in noob tubes. Look at They don't seem to be so alert until I actually spot the target. They don't like returning fire or anything. They're on the map, <clears throat> and I do this. Larkin, fire at that soldier back. Oh, that hit. Doing okay. Should really be shooting back now. Two hundred target dead soldier, one hundred meters, one o'clock. Oh, he's, he's still in the guns. Can't see him. Turning for something. Reset my Okay. Not sure. I could try and get out. There's probably limited resistance at the moment. I could try and get out, see if they cover me, and take that flag. But then be able to actually spawn in another. Right, hell, let's try it. Park it right here. That 
No target. Soldier, 200 meters. Left. Get him. Thing must be able to see him. What? Please help. Please help. <sighs> oh well, let's see if a medic can actually get me underwater. Come on, medic, hurry up. That's okay, and try. Does the AI know how to dive in water? Down to someone who's below. I'm not sure if I've been in this situation where I've had an AI medic with. Because I think I'm going to drown before, unless he can, you know, it does like some kind of recovery thing. just so insta though just unfairly <laughs> it's like you i'm out and become like a target like insta <laughs> oh there we go what a shame score check all i need to do is tell them to all get back into the boat Grid zero, start four, sailing three, it one one seven standing by Get in that vehicle! I've told them all to mount that boat. And if they do that, I might be able to tell them that she's sailed it all the way back. <laughs> it might work. So this is ready. That's one in. Come on, the rest of you getting the guns to be able to deal with the ant here. This is one left. Looks like Protrudus is not. What is he doing? Is he down? Four, get in that vehicle. Go, get in it. Oh no, they're sailing in a They're sailing away. <laughs> uh, they better not have just beached that. You nutters. Move to grid one, zero, four, zero, five, zero. I think they've just beached the Shantou. You absolute bunch of lemons. There is just, there is no, no words to say. Now they're getting out of it. It's just, there is nothing. Nothing, nothing to say. Apart from absolute bunch of lemons. They tried their best with their programming, but for some reason they felt it prudent to ram the shore with the thing of beach it. Oh no, hold on, hold on, hold on. They're moving again. Okay then, let's see how good you are. So I'm going to ask you to basically to sail zero, back to this two, jetty. Eight, zero, eight, four. Three, two. Move to grid zero two eight zero eight four. Just leave them four and five. Your objective is to go to the resource base or four and six. That's your next destination. Four. Move to grid one zero six zero five one six. Move to grid one. Zero six zero five one. Okay. 
Okay, let's tell them to like say take that gunship three, over two, here. Move to grid one zero three zero five one. Three, two, move to grid one zero three zero five zero. It looks like they start moving and then they're not able to turn enough, but that might be enough room. Might, might, might. Oh, there we go. What they need is some air support. Good. Now, sail it to here. Three, two, move to grid zero. Six zero zero six four. Or would it be easier? Yeah, easier to get them to sail here and then directly back there. Three five, move to grid zero seven zero zero two niner. Three five, move to grid zero six three zero two six. That's it, they're in the way. Meanwhile, two, four, and six on the ground there. Two, four, six, move to grid one, zero, six, zero, five, one. Four, reporting, over. All right, what can I attack in the meantime? <clears throat> uh, let's upgrade them a bit. Lord of Tanks. Going to have to... Well, I could either create a new one or I could actually bring back the login. I'm not sure if they reset the season at all, though. I just feel like having a look at that. Train you. Yeah. May take a little while, but if I get them here and then just point them all the way over to here, then they might never get close enough for me to take over and get that thing parked up nice. So we'll still have the ship. This leg horn. Now this is ridiculous, but not impossible. Let's see what I'm put Six. together. Reporting. Over. I'm out. Let's go for M14. No, the only scopes are starlight. Nope. Hell no, let's go for M60. Go get him. Get MG backpack. Any M1s or Tyrannosaurus? Can be predator flashbacks now. Compass, watch. Might as well take a B41. And, um, med 
kit and then mega ammo. A tremendous amount of ammo I've got there. Probably under normal circumstances. Satchel charge, got normal ones in there now. Probably find something like that there. Right, let's take plenty of grenades. Molotovs and put smokes in the top and I think that's all I need. There it is. Let's see where the boat is. Not bad, almost there. <clears throat> Let's get a um, <clears throat> Jeep. Yes. Be advised, low fuel. See you later. Enjoy the play. Straight out up the hill and... No, this one I think... Can we make it the other way? Or do I have to... Yeah, this is all the way up and down there. Okay. That is true. We've got that Pulsar game and we've got to play that through a little bit because that does look like a fun team game. Um, I mean, we, we could play that as a duo. I don't know if anyone else is interested in Boss Colony. But it's um, because it, we know how to work the AI now. But it, it, it is a multi-crew game. Shell. Uh, true. I can look at that. straight over. So you can see. She needed to take a direct, yeah. <laughs> it was an immediate left after the left.
return soon. Picks up some mega traction there. That's what we got to get up to, all the way up to the top there. Tough call is so low. We do have an airstrike or something to soften them up. I can tell you what I could do. I could call some kind of squads in, maybe. Oh, that's a roadblock. Get out! Set the balance. Okay. Right, commander, recruit squads. Commander. Give those and get it two. Get two. Is those two on my position? Yeah. <clears throat> Meanwhile, boat logistics. Three, five, move to grid zero, two, six, zero, eight, three. Fire in a hole. What a pickle, man. What a pickle. They're looking right at me, too. Mm. Smoke screen, get behind tree. Can I get behind tree? Go. Just about. This terrain drops down below the gun's visual range. So I'm going to drop down here and try and go up to the rocks and see if I can get over the top of that roadblock. Take it out with the RPG. Which I do have a couple of shots of. roadblock before they get here. The 
this one. I think I could. Got him. How's it looking? So just a roadblock down and then, well, the troops could be laid in a number of different ways up there. There was a squad lower down somewhere with the dog. Like there. Zero, five, two, one, three, three. Gotcha. Yes. That wasn't bad for a solo attempt at the front of a fortified base. Get the hell up. So now, where are the other two comrades? They're just arriving. Well, one of them's just arriving. The other one is... Not there yet, for some reason. Good timing, though. Still no airstrikes. I'd really like to soften the top up. to here please thank you thank you That's pretty good. That means we've got some support there. These other guys are stuck, I guess. Not really, not really moving. Oh, look what we got here. Zero, five, one, right one, out there. three, zero. Sniper. Hmm. There's another one. Team. What? That's the guy I just downed, but he's in the ground, man. Oh, come on. Oh, that's infuriating. Where's my body just down the side of that rock? Oh, I'll go back there. If I get a truck, I'll just fly back there. <clears throat> Grid zero, four, that's so three, annoying, that... AI was buried in the terrain. Ready. 
feel about it there. Another route now. We'll check the others haven't diverted because. First of all. Right now, check the others haven't diverted because you died. To there. Three, five, move to grid zero, two, seven, zero, eight, two. Four, get in. Zigzagging for a reason. <laughs> Not had one too many or something. <laughs> it generally gets you up the hill faster, it feels like. Zigzag lines. Left. Left again. that. Oh, did they just bomb? Was there air support, right? They just blew up my truck. around in that rock. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> so 
Surely no. Owls be damned. This one. Cover the RPG, but where the hell is my machine gun? What man? to take pot shots at each other so I don't know, I might have to accept that my M60 is lost Can peek into the rock or something just see if it's underneath there to get a different weapon. Uh, before I go in, boat check. They made it. They flipping made it. Absolutely brilliant. Right. Three, five, move Take it to there. Like we've recovered the battleship. Oh, well, actually, where's the bodies of those other troops that I took out? Because there will be some weapons down there. I'm out. There's one. Nicely. Right, we got one airstrike. Take so it, these guys are being sniped from up there. Okay. I'm not going to be too mean to them at first. Going to use some high explosives. Yeah, strike inbound. Soldier, two clicks, north. He's got binoculars out. Hey, come on. Hit that last shot. Trying to spot us for a strike. Changing max. All right, you guys in good shape. Hang on, who needs a medic? Who's calling for medic?
Hmm. Alright, I don't know how much damage that's done, but... First of all, I want to take care of the boat here. So if I go to now take control of number three... Wow. Talk about came from nowhere. I got you. See if I can take control of three and then actually, um, I think it'll stay there if it's parked there. Let's see if I can actually put it into the garage, the boot yard. Looks like they're getting, getting on board to move out. Well, that's a good idea actually, because what I could do is could get you guys to drive up to this point here. Good to go. That's the sniper. I need ammo. I bet you that. Bet you that's a sniper. <clears throat> that's the one that shot me from before. Guarantee it. Anyway, let's take this uh, Starlight with me as a backup scope. Go down here a second. What I'll quickly do is take control of you. Grab up there. No. Right, it's okay, it's safe there. I can't actually gain it enough to go back there myself. That's that's just fine. So what we'll do is we get five to disembark. Five. Three, five. Dismiss. Two. Wherever the LC is as well. He's not here, so we can dismiss. That's just four. Four, get ready. <clears throat> four plus the other squad. Okay, other squad. I want you to advance to the flag. That's where I want you to go. Come with me.
can't be hiding around any of these corners. But I could have done maybe more damage than I thought. Didn't get the radio tower, did I? So we good resupply. Where are you gonna land? Helicopter three zero five three one three two. No way. I'll go for the pilot then. He's 200 meters. Oh. <laughs> Crispy. Yeah, just aimed a little low because that's zeroed for 200 meters. We've got a fight on here. Oh, whoa! Through the shoulder! <laughs> Shocking. I need to get in a better position than this. Some more dug in on the left. Watch out, dude. That one that's just on the left there. Starting to come out the trenches. Let's see if I can help four. Where is he? A little bit injured. Four. Stop. Four. Hold. Where are those other guys then? Okay, so if I command these dudes, F1, Y, get them to dismount. And then get them to storm this place. Let's put them here first. Let's see if they march up the hill.
pick up a grenade. I do. Frag out. one hanging about over there. I think I can see him on he's either prone or he's injured there. Second squad. Come on, guys, get up here. Squad three. Go. Times you can't rely on them. Yeah, I bet they are. <laughs> I still feel like there might be another one. Just down here. Jesus! <laughs> Chatter. That's it. The law. Loot this guy. Go with his gun. Do it then, don't just stand there. Get rid of two. What's so he's stuck on my team for some reason? Four. Four. Fall back. I pick up his weapon. No. And his helmet. from this guy. Uh oh. Oh shit. Get out the way. Oh my god, that was close. My immediate reaction is to like go wide. Because <laughs> that... That looked like it was going to bomb us. It actually did. <clears throat> God, that was almost, almost low enough. felt like I could actually use the RPG and smash out that play. Go for a Hell Mirror shot. Yes, come on. Sergeant. Help. There we 
we're going to clear out that base. Alright, you're good to go. I'll go grab some stuff. It's probably a good idea I swap to M16. I can see another lot. Look. Both got one. You pick up one of those, soldier. That's not the weapon you're looking for, then. Surely. Because if I'm going to clear that stuff out, I might as well. I need ammo. Something I can do it with. This guy though, he's not picking him up, is he? Grenade, good. Need more ammo? Oh, he's got grenade launcher variant. That, that I will take. XM148. My explosive rounds are going to pop in. I'll see you then. Oh, wow. Man down. I killed him straight off. Probably a bit of payback, I think. <clears throat> There's a load of smoke going on. Let's see if I can get a W. Actually, Molotov cocktail. in there. If I can... Nope! Down! <laughs> Ooh, too high. Oh, go down. So we've got a couple looking out low, another one in the middle, and this guy on the edge I want to get first. Got to be, isn't it? Get another one of those down the road. Oh, 
Oh man, they're landing in reinforcements. This was never an easy one to take. Oh, not much if they're going to land them down there. They still give me a chance to uh, to grab it, but they're probably going to come up the other side, fight for it. Yeah, I had a couple, but um, it's it's probably better I try and shoot these guys direct. Okay. Cover me, reloading. Damn. Way better angle than me there. Nice of squad kick up, you know. Here they come. I think. Suddenly they're on the move. Right, what have we got on my left? I think the tower's down there. Okay, let's try and take out this one. Oh, I think I slipped off. I invincible visible visible screen in front of that one. Oh god. <sighs> don't know. Don't know what else. Doesn't know what else to do there. Grid zero, four, it's rather three, frustrating. One, one, seven. Waiting. Ready for order. Cheaters. Blatant cheating there. I even fired an in-law straight in the gap. Of that whole thing. And how the hell he's not obliterated from that either. Molotov. And then I fired an in-law that 100% it went through that gap and blew up in that thing. I mean, man. Okay. But it was just on the right-hand side. And partially in front. That rock that was in front of him was just blocking the... A shot from get into super annoying. All right, don't need to quite let this go yet. I think I'm just gonna have one more go, see if I can clear that. Keeping it will be for another matter, but you know what? I've still got Leon Yessi on my team, and he just won't go away. Cannot disband suppressed, undercover, or unconscious units. Your turn. Not from the LC. Tight 
take the outpost. Which one? No, it was the same. Which one, Petros? Hmm. Gonna be that one. Five, where are you? Get in. There's no space for... F All right, you're fired. <clears throat> Freedom burn the song. Well, some well entrenched US soldiers there. One of them with uh, more than nine lives. But it is what it is. So we've actually got a squad, even though they're kind of stuck, they're still on the scene. It will stop the AI from just, you know, replenishing, so it has to send in air support. Which it has done once, and they're around there. I'm risking it though. I'm just going to grab some weapons on the side. Really quiet there. Motion detected at the oh, really. I'm setting off all the cameras. Right. Yeah, look at this squad here. Like, I told them to disembark, right? The part they have. So why if I go... Try going there then? Why are they not listening? On dismounting. There we go. 
kind of told them to do it before, but maybe they didn't think they were doing that, but now maybe they will. In that case... Wouldn't mind making it up there, would be great. I'll take the spare. I need ammo. Reloading. And now they're mounting up again to travel there. <laughs> Here is good for me. But where did that group of um of troops get to that were dropped off somewhere down there? Have they moved there all the way around to the back to replenish or are they making their way up through this lot? This one's so difficult to take. That's the first time I've ever used melee in actual combat. Let's see if medic can get to me. Medic. Just take out that other. Go on, get him. Cover the medic. Uh, please help. Uh, medic. About it, we'll be going the right way. Oh, pro medic, pro medic. Please help. They've never actually used the melee before against you know, in, in such a fashion. But when I was out of ammo, I was like, okay, just try it, switch around the back of him. And it was really super effective, wasn't it? Let's see if I can get the M60 off that guy. Thank you, Medic. I'm out. Backpack, first aid kits, gotcha. Where's his weapon gone though? Looks like they're both okay, I think. Or is this. This is the game 60 guy. That's another one. Where is four gone? 
Four, heal that soldier. Fall back! Good. Um, pack. I can fit the MG stuff. Whoa! Oh, that's a great. Get out of here, man. I'm not using you as a shield. sure where four has gone it's like returned all the way down here meanwhile this squad don't get anywhere near Resin, but I don't know if I full med kits at the top there. Right, let's go. It's like, I think what's happened is they've moved up around the side, uh, other opposite side of the base, they've moved through it and then come this way on the attack. Got an airstrike, could soften them up a little bit. Where is that option? Doesn't actually hurt. Bring some high explosives over. There to there. I felt shocked them out of it. I might want to move to the other side though. Three, fetch yourself up. Oh, hold on. So we've got some reinforcements moving in from northeast. This air strike to finish. Oh, that's a bit over the top, though. No, three. Is he okay? He's okay. Move seventy-five meters front. Come on, get back a bit, dude. This guy's still in there. No, it looks like actually the first first bomb or second bomb. Yeah, that top. I think I've got to basically put that gap further back. Just for a way it works out the bombing run for this. No smoking. <laughs> Highly flammable, obviously. 
Well, if you happen to have a, uh, you know, you happen to have a charge in there, go for that. We'll rig it. Oh, there you go. Smoke out. Oh. Seventy five meters back. Let's see if I can get some grenades off this body. Don't feel like looking around corners in this thing. A carbine. Bendery grenade. Smoke out! Drawing smoke! Yeah! He is inside there. Whoever that incendiary got him, I don't know. God, I can even try and hack me. Shut up. You hear that? Like, oh, <laughs> it's like <laughs> there's someone still alive on the roof. What? Street zero, four, niner, one, three, six. Medic is down there. He could possibly make it up here. Let's see where he is on the map. Yeah, he's not that far away, actually. He could path find his way up here. He's doing it. It should be clear, but it just depends on whether that he pulls me out of that or the guy's going to like shax him also, but he is on his way. Now this this sort of hack singer thing here to me is kind of like on the edge of things. If I was the other side of that wall and I knew someone was around there firing it, wouldn't you fire through there? You, you would, right? Just the gun of if the gun you've got penetrates the that would just fine, then hell yeah, you'd surprise them with that. Don't necessarily have to peek. follows the path around here there's a chance that he can actually grab me without the AI doing his party piece but um 
Go on, make the right turn. Hmm. Impressive. 50-50. See how it deals with this bunker. At the front. This is the bit where you excel your programming. Realize I'm inside. Walk in. Oh, that's good news. Medic. Looking then. Down the right way. Help. Make that step. Make bridge that gap between AI and human. I've realized there is a way through. No negatives, man. No negatives. Make make the difference. Come on. That's it. Give it a go. That's it. That's it. Come on. Where is he, man? He's in there in that room. Just pull me by the collar out of here and heal me. That dude's going to camp it anyway. We'll get him afterwards. Just come on, grab. Yes, I believe. I believe in you, Adam. Come on, man. You just go through there. You can see the path. Surely. Going through to the other room. He is he's gonna get a really, really interesting result. Where has he gone back out? This makes you wonder what what's made that AI kind of all of a sudden think that that was a route to try. Look, there we go. There, again. Yes. Yes, but no. Come on. I say, if he repeats that sequence one more time, he might actually make it through. But what's he going to do? Is he going to go back now, thinking there's an obstacle there? I don't think I'll survive a bit much longer. He's already shot me a few extra times. But if he if he goes out again and then repeats that same kind of algorithm, he might go further far enough to realize there's a gap there. Because he started there, and there, and that's it. It's gone out. I was gonna go back in, and I'm dead. Oh, oh. oh so close! No, no! <laughs> I thought so. I thought it, it, it was actually working it out. It was actually cautiously working out. There was a way through there, but it's kind of like trial and error, you know. Now I don't know if that it does it does actually know the way, but it's going through a process of checking to see, you know, you know, there's an enemy there, and then going through. If it obviously, could make it, which is all pretty impressive, but. Let me think how I'll do this. Um, well, if he's still on site, I'll give it. I'm gonna get one more go. I'll grab my stuff on the way up. Right. Come with me, soldier. So the other guys are gonna stop. Stay with the animal. Oh 
almost to bridge the gap. time lucky. Starting to play with my mood now. Look a little win. going off. through there without actually taking her out so that could mean well, there's not a lot of resistance left in it
Good. On, on me. Let's do it. Let's see if we got the numbers to take this flag. Yep. Potential take back here. Put a nice WP in there just to make sure. That should do it. If he's still in there when I go in there, think. I don't want to. Too much. got a lot of spares in here for the rest of you go and pick up what you need of those soldiers we've got the flag up here for maybe a possible counter-attack in time here some anti-air down maybe. Let's see if I still can. Helicopter. Oh, they're parachuted in. It's a shame. Parachutes, 200 meters, left. Yes. Oh no. Yes. Where is that chopper? Hmm, didn't see far away. Well, they put their paratroopers. 
put the paratroopers in. Let's see if I can get... Who's closest to me? Number five. Get on that gun, please. Five. Gunner. Get into that vehicle. Actually, I don't know if that's got good enough. I was hoping. Gonna get to look over there. But it seems to want to kill me. Yeah, that's pretty good actually. Five. Return to formation. Right, five, get on that gun. Five, gunner, get into that vehicle. If not, what I'll do is I'll take control of you myself. Good. And if they start rolling up here, you know what I'm saying? You know what to do. Next. I still should check this base probably in the corners just in case they've, you know... Still got a bit of a hole in this place. Yeah, look, that's not what I want. Do not know. Right, where's four? Four. Gunner, get into that vehicle. I don't even know where four is, but... I think you probably want three, two or three of these. I'm definitely up here, like looking down. I don't know if it's possible to balance it here. Yeah, okay. Four, yeah, that one. Four. Gunner, get into that vehicle. And then, arguably. Get one more of these and transport it to the other side.
I also use that thing, but I think probably better. A station like that. This can go there. Once six or seven is ready, I'll put one on here. shall we? Pile them up just down the road here. So those, I'm going to garrison them here. Alright, so when they get here, no supplies. And that'll keep the guns manned and stuff. Right, if there's a box here, which I think remember there is, I can use this to just literally carry that, put in that centre. Just throw it everything for a sec. so much loot concentrated in this space it's a serious to think about that but I want all that stuff so if I carry this I want to blow up the uh, the tower. Comes tower. That is one hell of a loot package. Lovely stuff. Mags. Oh, more than mags or weapons. They're all, all my troops are walking around with M16s, M60s. Yeah.
Where else do we get him? Further down the hill, I know. Anywhere around here, I do not. So, one by the gutter, and the rest that she walked down. I could do with the rocks here, see if we pick up any spares. Nice shorts. it locally apart from a few boards down there. Awesome. So, large weapon hall. We have the hill. Does that actually work as a... Hmm. That pump there too. I wonder if that actually works as a refueling station there. Military base. Yeah, the chopper went down, but I think it dropped the troops like a bit everywhere, if you know what I mean. But they started to fall out as I. Yeah, it blew. Well, effectively blew it up with the RPG, but it. It's going to be a bit difficult getting through the rocks to try and squeeze every drop out of the every bit of loot, of course. Now that is a big foothold in the map and not very easy to deal with terrain. That's where he is. So the game still thinks he's kind of unconscious at the bottom of the, the sea somewhere. That's true enough. Five, this mount. <laughs> oh, good for it, like trail like that. As far as I can tell, there isn't anything else planned. I'll have a quick look at these bodies just to check see if any more of them have got intel on them. I think... I didn't really check the... 
peeps in here. Probably done through anyway. Chum 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 No weapons cache. That's pretty. Huh? Huh. That's pretty much it for this place. Sometimes there'll be like a information source you can sneak in and grab, but I don't actually see one. Just checking if. It would have been... Oh, that could be somewhere here. It's not. It's not in there. Got a spy in there. But nothing actually stopped us from taking it so far as repelling the enemy. That's all good. Now we're going to hold on it. Excellent. Super happy with that. Let's teleport back. We got a hundred Ram M60 belt and another smoke grenade updated in the arsenal. But that's a that's pretty good haul of weapons there. Also got all of one of the pop guns too. You cannot fast travel with enemies near the group. Oh, that's. You cannot disband suppressed undercover Colossus units. Let's let go, you guys. I'll just disband you. Then I got this guy. Who's stuck to me like glue, so let's get rid of him by leaving. Nutter. Good. Enjoyed that. And I got promoted. Yes. Alright. Hi. I'm going to proceed just to have a load of all the tanks. That was a fun session on it. I enjoyed that. Kind of moderate difficulty with a bit of persistence. I managed to take that to a more difficult to take area. And that battle boat should, should be close enough to that port to actually... Um, stick there as well oh don't tell me that what's this mickey d's feel the feel the love what's it feel feel the love because it's a mcdonald's monday of course it is <clears throat> right tanks we got world of tanks we got world of tanks blitz I might have to recover my login for this. What's with the Terminator? A Sarah Connor Chronicle, isn't it? No, wrong. No, it's Terminator 2. It is Terminator 2. Just um, drawing some Sarah Connor Chronicles sort of different actor for. Yeah. <sighs> Ended 2.0. 
too soon. Do you mind if we option use cookies to provide a personalized content that we analyze traffic, including Google Analytics? Yeah, go on, do it. If that loaded on it does. I suppose that is the world of text log and screen. Oh, it's progress. We've changed color. I'm going to try again. That doesn't quite seem... Doesn't seem right. Think mechanic simulator. Oh, what a dream. I'm just thinking the two versions, I don't think are any. Wargame Group Limited or Steam, I, I imagine my initial account was with Wargame. Let me try one more time through Steam. session is stuck huh? wrap it up it just means control delete get it off uh war thunder oh could be let's get my xbox uh, controller connected to war thunder with Gonna be flying. I need that analog finesse and the control. You have successfully logged in with your Wargame Net account. This account will automatically log in next time. Nice one. I don't have to do anything. I must have tied them together a while back then. Let's go. Get me in. It's won the golden joystick four times. The Guinness World Record holder or something. This game has been around for so long, as far as I can remember. It's, it is brilliant. Stood the test of time.
Hmm. So maybe I will not start from scratch here. I've got my account. Get myself a challenger too. Welcome to World of Tanks. Oh, I've gone straight to boot camp. Is this like a refresher course? <laughs> Follow the tips to complete the mission. Turret and aiming controls. Vehicle control. Can I skip this? Turret and aiming. I'm, I kind of... Um, 75% in my head, I know what I'm doing. I know how to aim and traverse and keep her uh, on target and turn around and stuff like that. I mean, deep end. Update 1.199. Oh, hello. Looks like I've got a German tank. And I've got the cruiser Mark 1. I got the Leich the Le Leech how do you say that? Lake tractor. Oh, that, what? Lake Lake Tractor. Uh, Japanese Russian American what were they doing at that time? The cruiser Mark One. Right, before we progress, I've literally got nothing here. So I spent it all. We have, I have got ammunition. Armor piercing rounds. Let's have a look at the research tree for this one. So next is Cruiser 2, Cruiser 3, or you got the. Oh, that keeps going. Setter. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. I think a gun like this would put the fear of anything, right? <laughs> it's, a, it's very lightly armored compared to the others, I suppose. Actually, the low profile seems it, right? Wow. But you wouldn't want to get hit by this thing. Welcome to Tank Survival. Today we're on a trip of remembrance. Okay then. I don't think we're going to upgrade it now. We're going to have to fight. There she is. Beautiful tank you. Get the two mini turrets, the little two mini cannons. <laughs> Look at that, though. The Boraski. Boraski. Get back to reality of my tank here. We're going to battle. Just have a little shake off. Cruiser 1. 
37,722 participants in EU1 and the total worldwide player base at the moment of 117,744 players and that's a game that's like 20 years old incredible that is incredible Attention to position, driving to position, help, and reloading. Actually, I don't know if the music. I, I love, I love the music, but I don't actually know if any of it's copyright or not. I have to check out. Let's be moving for days forward. feel already. Yeah. Memory's coming back now. Right, so on our side we've got a cruiser plus some mediums. It's actually very well matched. Everyone's actually transitioning. Oh, it's not even split. I'll, I'll go for Wants to right. Yeah, this this account is probably my second one. Um, I I think I merged it with or started it on Steam. I've got a feeling this it's not uh, well it doesn't look like it's far progressed give me a hit it's spotted got a hit got a quick shot into his track there which was useful Show yourself. We might. Just enough for me to hit him. Good. Close. Should I pursue? Hold. Got him. Wow, we got ourselves the first kill, guys. Awesome. You gotta watch it when climbing this kind of angle. You leave the bottom of your tank exposed as you climb over. You can watch out for that. Definitely don't want to take a round underneath. up to that mound just over there. Like they have spots in there. Let's try and see if I can get a shot on the top of its turret. It has hit the top of my tank. Moving around. I 
open up a little bit. There's another one approaching. Let's see if we can deal with that one first. I could make a move round for the flag. I'm going to take actually. And get to the enemy zone. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What? Enemy armor is hit! Oh, 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 oh. Fire! shape now. It's like the others are moving up. say I contributed quite a bit on this one. Let's see if there's any camping the flag. Press right mouse and you can turn you want actually turn the turret as well. I'm gonna attempt to evade. base. Other tanks are also moving in, that's handy. That was a pretty neat reintroduction. The captured base and the three tanks. Yes. Got 
achievement. Main gun, three achievements. Left kick to shoot and trial by fire. Cool. Let's change the game title. Twenty ten, yeah. Twenty ten is official release before after beta. Right, that gives me twenty seven thousand four hundred eighty six. What's this? Personal reserves activation. Choose preferred bonus. Bonus to combat XP for one hour. Yeah. Oh, I have to have purchase gold required improved person. Okay, I need to get gold. Okay. Alright, for 3,000 I can upgrade the pump pump. Or we can go to the cruise, I've got enough. I do. Elite status acquired. It's given to a vehicle with all available modules and technical branches researched. Common XP and elite vehicles can either be converted to free XP for gold or used to accelerate crew training. Hmm. We now have a cruiser mark too. to buy some ammunition. So do one ten AU and AP composite rigid. Got shell velocity though. They're super expensive. Look at the purchase price relative to how much I've got because I've only had like one game in ages but take five of those ten high explosives got anything else I can do for research for this Could be among the top five players when the fighting solo. Season three has finished. No. When does the new season start? Every player for themselves.
That's my training wheels off. Change into the AP ones now. I'm just gonna have a crack them and test them out. I've only got five in this room. Let me hit. Let's swim around this side to engage. Necessarily let him go all around there. It's like he's almost at the base. Like darted in there. It's like a bit of a ninja. coming from. Somewhere over there. So that this player's just flown around, I think, and then attempting to capture the base. So I guess I've got no, no option but to try and see if I can do something about it. the cover of this house. It's actually not long to go. There's like 50 seconds. Okay, there. Enemy armor is damaged. That one bounced. Enemy is hit. Track hit. Enemy armor is damaged. Critical hit. Come on. There we go. Get him. We didn't even scratch them. Got a critical hit though. Oh. This vehicle has had it. What are the others doing? I mean. 
it's like it was so obvious what's going on there. I'm the only one that's got. I think they're bots, aren't they? They got to be. I don't, I don't think humans would be that considerate, right? <laughs> the diabetic. How are you doing? Um, have got favorite tank? Um, def. What are we talking modern tanks or, or in this game in particular? Because I, I'm I'm just sort of feeling my way back into this game. If if, if you know what I mean, it's like. Uh, I haven't, pl I haven't played enough of them. But that was going on down here. The uh, enemies could survive much longer. Maybe one more shot, maybe two, one more now. Nice, but there we go at last. They get him. I mean, I did a hell of a lot of damage to that tank. Surely. Destroy it, for God's sake. It's moving really fast, actually. So what was faster than that turret can compensate for his movement. It's cool. That's it, get some distance from him and then fire. What are the others doing now? Are they, are they rushing back to aid? Oh, look at this, a little bit of stealth. That's it. Doing with that cannon. It's around him. Let me show the back. Ricochet? Are you kidding? In that range? Come on, one more hit, one more hit, one more hit. Yes! Oh, we might still win this one. <laughs> Actually, you are correct. Um, when I was in that battle with that other tank, um, what I didn't do was uh, I should have actually turned my tank around. I was trying to go for accurate shots. I was close to taking them out, but... If I turned my tank around and showed it the front armor, I might have got a couple of extra shots in. But anyway, start taking their flag. Get it. Oh, he's in trouble. One, one sneeze. Loads up. Nice move from ZX though, he rushed all the way around very quickly to try and get that, that flag taken. Dismantling it. Oh, 
played. Second game victory. Liking this. Yeah, I suggested it. There was a bit, a little bit of a sharper way of playing that, turning the tank around as I was in the. But I was going more for the, you know, the accurate shot. I thought I could uh, outdo him there. Cruiser Mark Two. Vehicle researched. I have tried War Thunder, yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. Quite a while ago, but I have played that and thoroughly enjoyed it. Just got my gamepad out here. It might happen. Now we're starting to get games with more and more, yeah. Easing back into it. Let's go. Going right. Maps is spectacular. A shift instantly puts you into into your first person. Cannon. I'm actually driving down the streets, minding out for stuff. <laughs> the tank doesn't care. <laughs> So we've got at least two tanks on the flank. Oh, got a wicked hit there. Switching to our Pearson. Nothing's gone. Boom. Dealt with. Well done. Great teamwork so far. Way over the top, huh? Enemy armor is here. Penetration. Oh, green marker. Enemy armor is damaged. Close. Uh, straight off the top. Right, I'm going out. I'm going to lead out. Let's get him. It's only about to take three of us on, surely. Enemy is hit. Oh, so you got him. Hold on. we got a couple down the street here. See them get on their flank. They go that way. Actually, no. See what that dude's rushing out. Penetration. Penetration. Doesn't even know I'm here. Look. Enemy is hit. 
Get him a soft spot underneath. We didn't penetrate their armor. Nice. Chase him. Get out of it. Hunt to kill him out. Hunt to kill him out. Then the base capture, we're kind of going to stop that, really. Can move down. He's got his hands full. Of course, we could. One or two of us are going to try and take theirs. One second. Okay. Uh, friendly. They're running for it. Spotted. We're taking a little bit of cover. I doubt it's hiding in there somewhere. Shot on this guy. Penetration. <laughs> you got wiped. So there's one more. He's in here somewhere. See if I can. You see, the only thing is, I reckon that this guy's got way better. Kill that one in there. I, I think this, whoever's in there's got better. I'm not trying to guess there. Maybe I'll go and see if I can capture their flag. Shot, I think. Not this out. Gonna have to be one hell of a shot. Enemy armor is damaged. Enemy armor is hit. Penetration. Enemy armor is hit. enough confidence in this team is humped out another tank looks like he's going for flag so why not Just about to get 
surrounded. It's got very long left. Oh, we bounced that round in there. <laughs> Just got the kill shot. Just waiting for it to go through the gap of the buildings. Boom. Size hit and one, two punch. Jeez. Oh, that's good. Victory. Yeah, is that great? I think it's going to go all on the cannon, though. Just enough the engine too. Then we can actually go Valentine. Light tank. Continue on to the Mark III. Which I like the look of very much. Yeah, every time I go in, I'm actually buying those sh shells, I think, or is it already done it? 1200. It's just okay, we keep cleaning enough to keep that momentum because it's quite good, those armor piercing shells. Well, three wins in a row. Not, not bad start. I like maps like that with all the broken down buildings and different places to set up your tanking. Zip, zip, zip. Lift. Get to the village. Go straight to the village. Suit faster tanks to get into a better position to start. She's got him a snap through the gap. Mm. 
dude's back, I should get a shot. Oh, that one went way, way excessive, isn't it? We didn't even scratch them. Damn, what kind of arm have you got on? We didn't penetrate their armor. Wow. Three shots and I couldn't get penetration shot there. Not even with my best round. From that distance anyway. standoff here it looks like been spotted but it's marked nobody's on my flank yet Trying to use the bushes as concealment also. But it depends if they want to keep pushing on me or not. And oh. So that one's getting hit quite easily from there. Hmm. Maybe if I move over. Aid the uh, Eduardo here. Enemy armor is damaged. That one didn't go through. Just about get the top of it there. Getting hit, so. Is it disabled, do you reckon? Stuck. Yeah, he's, he's in trouble. In big trouble. Just moved off there. Get the finishing shot. Yes! Get out of it. Gotta shoot that through an inch gap. Hold on a second. Oh shit, I get surrounded here, man. Oh, what's happening there? We've got some. We'll look out in the open for this one. We'll look, yeah. What the hell? Defeat. Aye. They caught, they got the, um, the two got the point over there, didn't they? It's too late anyway. I couldn't rush over there as that fast if I even wanted to, but fair play. Took out a nice tag there. Jack. M4A1.
actually. Every player for themselves. I should battle, but can I? Two teams of 15 played each. One team attacks the enemy base while the other defends it. The team roll attack defense sign randomly. Well, that sounds interesting. Let's see what I take. Attack and defend one sounds interesting. You're right there, chat. Have I uh, completely dazzled you? Um, playing this strange game. Well, I'm enjoying it. It's been such a long time. Capture the enemy base or destroy all enemy vehicles. Sure you don't get too focused down the barrel. Trying to see none on this flank. I doubt I tear something. Don't fall to this side. It's probably going to be at least five when I get over here. Help me! Yeah. No, I don't like this place. We'll have a look, have a look, have a look. I knew it. Like, you can shoot straight through that rock, can't you? We wanted to bounce one through there. Well, we've got three over there. One in between this rock and a little beak. Bait him. Just through the little gap there. There it is, look. Right on the tracks. Boom. Suddenly it is gone. Just let it know that I'm here. There you go. Go on, go back to your little post box. Have a little look through, see what you know. Give me a little. <laughs> oh, I both missed each other there. Fire! Well off. Woo! You. 
This is the round you really want to receive. Come on, on the way. On the way. Gotcha. Yes. Come on. Make it better. Make it much better. I can't have your lock on, actually. I'm doing a lot of manual here. It's just as fun. Work over there. He's so lucky. I'm gonna push the issue soon he's is almost flipping dead. But he's gone behind the He's gone behind the flag, look. Alright, you deal with that one. I'm gonna deal with this one. Go. Right behind me. Very clever. He's gone round the back of the rocks there and then right behind me into this corner. Crank the turret, you say. In the worst situations, honestly. No, I haven't actually. But... Right, looks like he's. Can you try? Oh, hello. Come on, crank harder. being so close up, huh? Nice surprise, actually. They got quite a few tanks compared to uh, Dust Left, which was like 2 vs 5, so yeah. Brave. Two vs no, two vs two four. Oh. 
five here. Six. Six. Two for six. Is it? <laughs> he knocked quite a few times. survival oh dear, I think I lost just about every single system in that one track fell off had to hand crank the turret lost hydraulic pressure you know but still I think I put up a good fight there I had to go back to get out because he was just capping the capping the flag again it's okay, it's repaired my baby up. I've got eighteen thousand. Cruiser Mark Three, old Valentine. Depends how on the, which. Oh. Look at the manticore. Oof. And the Centurion. How do I show the um? I'll show the damage stats of like, um, oh, there it is. So it's 309 for firepower compared to what I'm on Cruiser 2, which is 19 firepower. Look at the survivability too, it's a way, mobility, concealment, spotting. That's one more battle. I'm going through the city. Right. shot through it. That'll be cool. 
Oh, what? I thought it would give me at least default ammunition. I I'm in here with no ammunition. Oh, yes, that's just fantastic. Okay, that, that's just weird. I thought it would not give me, like, am ammunition for the extras that I added, but it's actually given me nothing. It hasn't even added the basic ammo, which I, I, I actually don't know why. Okay, looks like I'll be the, uh, I'll draw for it. Or I could, oh, I could play this stealth, actually. I could sneak about and go around and see if I can get around the flag. Vitus Fibinga. And Echelbert. Waffenschmi. Let's see what, there's quite a few that side actually. I should bait them all the way up here. I'm going to go for flag. That's going on mission. Connects. How you doing? Chasing after him. That tank moves fast. I'm gonna try and see if I can skip through the middle here. Actually, one more shot and that tank is dead. I'll be the next target. That's better. Yeah, I'm not surprised. But, you know, if you do such a thing as like, don't actually give me any ammo to shoot back. This cause quite a stir. I can't do nothing about it, that's what I think. <laughs> So what the hell have you done to me, mate? SOS! Sending out an SOS. Okay. You're my only hope, man. Okay. I'll try and turn the fan towards him. See if I can delay this. For God's sake! Oh my God! Tunnel vision on this target there. Well, that was an awesome ending. It's 
Armor 3 DLC you've never seen before. I know, right? I'm not going to believe a word of that, you know. You know. I'm having some fun games tonight. I'm going to retreat to uh, continue unpacking the rest of my stuff. Or heading to the Schlaffen. Oh, I finally can. <clears throat> I have to wait for that tank to be rebuilt. That's rather... Why did that even happen? Just... I mean, that game's not finished yet, so I won't get it back, but... Because this ammo here is not actually... You see, it has no value to buy. You can, you can, So you can always go in with something to shoot, right? So I'm just wondering how the hell that ended up as, as not there. And I know it came up with a message saying... No, this is not loaded, but hey. I thought that just meant the, uh, this stuff, which, um, there wasn't enough for. It is just a tank fight, but a tactical one, an enjoyable one. Very nice. What was the other question up before? Is it got... Is it War Thunder on GFN? Might be. Have a look. Maybe not. Pulsar is. So this is a game that is going to take a little bit getting used to. And I'm not going to play a ton of it now. See if I can wait a couple of other peeps to jump in it. I can just jump into someone else's session. <laughs> Surprise crew member. Human. Be interesting. Other places to go see. Customs. Please ensure possessions of illicit items or cargo are not permitted in the colonial union zone. Questions about a PS448? I can answer them for you, otherwise, enjoy your visit together. We survive. Go about your business. I 
lost my papers and my identification card. Don't mind me just waiting for another civilian dip to come by. Maybe I can get a ride back. Yes, you can. Come with me. wanted to work on the frontier. The greatest discoveries of the past millennia have been on the fringe of the galaxies. Was the undiscovered knowledge of. Colonial Reunion Command Center. This is not a game I wanted to start now. <laughs> I will. We'll have a go at it. This is the transporter pad back to the ship, yeah. Backwards flight. Oh, I see. Change the flight mode. I'll point that way. station <laughs> Do not do a blind jump obviously Command is looking for a crew en route to outpost 448 to accept a voluntary delivery assignment. I just love the way the first button I press actually almost blows the ship up. Definitely got a knack for this. Oh, wow. Okay. <clears throat> Probably ended up in some... Where are we? Oh, we're obviously being attacked. Um, <clears throat> where is weapon stations? <laughs> I 
think we've just vented atmosphere. <laughs> Killed by no oxygen. Oh, brilliant. Excellent. So you've got to be on your toes. You can put bots into different places, but that's what you practically do if you've got a problem with that. Knock about. All right, wonderful. Have have a good night, everyone, and um, join in from later on. Enjoy the armor. Good night. <laughs>